Welcome to Spring Forward Action 10 News Channel with your hosts Clark and Jordan. Today we've got a couple of stories lined up for tonight's broadcast. As everyone probably remember, the east coast of the United States and a terrible blow along with the Caribbean and the eastern part of Canada, the hurricane developed over the Caribbean Sea from a tropical wave, but six hours later, later soon it soon became a tropical storm later on October 29th, 8 o'clock p.m. Sandy, now a Category 1 hurricane, hit New Jersey and the Atlantic City. The effects from the storm got to 24 states from Florida all the way to New England. The United States suffered $50 billion dollars making it one of the most expensive casualties along with 98 killed hurricane victims and our current source tells us that two are still missing and by November 1st 4.8 billion million people were without power the highest percentage of people from New Jersey, followed by New York, which is still recovering slowly and trying to restore power. However, the, the most states are quickly recovering. On November 7, 2012, two states, Washington and Colorado, legalized marijuana for recreational purposes. Although this bill has been passed within the states, it may be reversed by the federal government. In Colorado, you can now purchase and use the drug in small doses, about 5 grams. According to the 64th Amendment in Colorado, it states you must be at least 21 to buy, sell, or smoke marijuana. People would want this bill to be passed because the U.S. spends $10 billion a year prohibiting the drug, so legalizing it would save that $10 billion for other uses. Also another benefit of legalizing the drug is eliminating the $750,000 criminal charges that are filed each year because of marijuana. There are more marijuana arrests each year than any other crime in America. Colorado and Washington both estimate it will raise as much as $500 million annually. To get a student's opinion on the new bill, we asked Andy to go out in the halls of Spring Ford. Hi, what's your general thoughts on the drug bill? I think it's a good thing. Do you think that America should legalize marijuana? Yes, I do. I think it will help America. Thank you. What's your general thoughts on the legalization of the bill? I think it's uh, good because America can benefit in a lot of ways from marijuana. All right, thank you. What's your general thoughts on the drug bill? I like it. Um, do you think that America can benefit from legalizing marijuana? Yes. Thank you. What's your general thoughts on the drug bill? I don't think it's a good thing at all. Okay, and uh, do you think America could benefit from legalizing marijuana? No, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> all right, thank you. What are your general thoughts on the drug bill? I think it's good. Um, do you think America can benefit from legalizing marijuana? Yes, because they could tax it. All right, thank you. And while the world of marijuana, things are going crazy, it's not the only world. 2012 has been a big year for video games, with so some of major AAA titles returning. Assassin's Creed brought a new story of gaming when it based it on early American history. This game brings about some familiar faces like Benjamin Franklin and George Washington. All the fans of Halo for a surprise after the announcement of Halo 4 last year. On November 6th, the game brings players to the cliffhanger that they le were left back in Halo 3 in 2007. But also coming back to the field is Treyarch's Call of Duty Black Ops 2, set as the sequel to Black Ops 1. But everyone's excited for the return of the new zombie survival game mode, which is back and fully upgraded for more. These games will be available just in time for Christmas, so gamers, be sure to put these games on your list wish list this year. Well, thank you for joining us today. I'm here at the desk at Spring Ford. Have a happy and nice day.